So um, we're talking about talking about the two uh, types of third declension adjectives in unit ten introduced in unit ten. The first type is really the basic type of third declension adjectives. It's not it, it, these are uh, not special and function in the same way as a third declension nouns. Okay. What's true of them, however, is that they are an older class than the adjectives that we're used to. We're used to the adjectives of the type agathos, which have three genders in the whole set of endings. And these are, because they're older, they have, they go back to the system in Indo-European, which did not have a distinct set of endings from masculine as against feminine or feminine against masculine. There's one set of forms for animated mm -hmm. things and one for newer things. So third declension adjectives have one form that's both masculine and feminine, and one form that's neuter. Um, and these are the these are the adjectives of the type eudaimon. Okay, so let's look at the masculine and feminine forms, and then we'll look at the neuter ones. Um, the the uh, the inflection here is exactly like the inflection of the noun eudaimon in the masculine and feminine forms. Maybe we should pop up there because this is m slash f there. So el daimon, the genitive is el daimonos. And the dative is going to be el daimoni. And the accusative is el daimon. Okay. Accent is persistent. And, and, and you know, the forms in the plural are what you would expect. They're just like the inflection of daimon. The dative plural form, you might want to put that underneath here. Is L, yeah, it's S own, L dimosse, for example, osse in the case of this adjective, mm -hmm. and then os. Okay. Um, so, so that's straightforward and plain third declension forms. The, the neuter is a little bit weirder. Okay. Um, the, the, we haven't had third declension neuters except in, until this lesson, and the only ones we have there are S -pems. Um, but these are third declension consonantal neuters. So the nominative singular is L daimon, no ending, that's just the stem, okay, and the accent moves up to the third to last syllable. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the endings are like the masculine and the genitive L daimonos and L daimone, and then the accusative again L daimon, and with the accent on the first syllable. Um, Again, there are no surprises in the plural. It's going to be el daimona, el daimona anon, and el daimose, and then el daimona uh, domino, rather. Okay, so we'll, we'll think tricky about these forms. So the, the, the only thing that's peculiar, I think, about this form is the accent and the non accusative. But it's an adjective. It works the same, has the same form, whether it's masculine or feminine. The neuter has these distinctive forms that are associated with the neuter endings that don't present any particular problem. Okay? Um, what is more challenging are a much larger classes of third dimension adjectives than mm -hmm. S stems. Okay? And uh, El Daimon, by the way, means fortunate. With a daimon is a, one of the words for God. El Daimon means with a good a daimon that's favorable, whatever whoever the daimon is. So it means fortunate or lucky. Something like that. Um, um, the the other adjective that we're going to look at is an S stem adjective, which represents a much larger class of third declension nouns. The book uses the word L genes, the L again meaning well, and this is using the, the same stem as the S stem neuter noun, which it has so the nominative in the masculine and feminine forms is L genes with an acute, and then the neuter, I'll make that masculine. Feminine, the neuter is L and S with, a, with a, an ES ending. Okay. Well, maybe you can see what's going on here. <laughs> okay. The genitive, it, this is going to be analogous to the S stem nouns of the type gamos. Okay. That's masculine. Feminine. Is it working? Nope. <laughs> there, there you go. And the uh, neuter. Okay. So the genitive is going to be L Okay. Just like in the 
in the nouns of the Ganos type of the Ganon of the last syllable. Okay. El Ganus, the same for the this kind of circle box, yeah. El Gale, um, again for the data. And then EI, yep, the, yep. And then the, no, it's got a circle box. <laughs> it's from SC and SOS. Okay, that's you're getting the El Ganus. And now El Gale from El Ganessa with an ADA in the accusative singular. Okay. That also tells you we're going to have a circumflex on that eta. The neuter forms are the same in the genitive and the dative as the masculine and the feminine, and the neuter accusative and the nominative are the same, so it's L and S again. Um, so, so this inflection is analogous to the inflection of the genos type of the dimension neuters, okay? Um, in the plural, let's, maybe we can do it by just looking at the endings, you're going to get. Um, um, and for the masculine, no, let, let's let's do yeah. a new screen, okay? And look at the the, the nominative, uh, the, the data accusative um, of the masculine and feminine plurals, okay? You're going to get L G L G M A S E I S, okay? Um, and and then L G M A S in the accusative plural again, right? in the masculine and feminine forms, and then. Algenon with a circumflex on the omega, and algenesi in the data pool. So this is uh, the same kind of things that are happening here as you see, for example, in the Vasilov's type nouns, we have got um, missing consonants. That in this case is an S, and there it's a U or a W or a Y. Um, Right. And then in the neuter forms, you're going to have elgane because elganessa is going to give you what looks like a feminine nominative ending with an eta and a circumflex, not an acute. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's the result of the contraction right. of the contraction of ganessa. Mm -hmm. Elgane, elganon, ganessin. It's the same, and then elgane again. Um, so, so these are variations on theme. Um, but this is again to repeat uh, a very large class of nouns, uh, very much worth learning, um, and uh, analogous to what we've already seen in the terms of this function.